What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to list all the sheet names or tab names from a user selected workbook. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the left side I got my VBA editor. On the right I've got an empty workbook with one sheet. On the bottom left I've got my test folder. So let's start writing this code. What we're going to want to do is create a prompt to allow the user to select a file. So we're going to use a file dialog. So let's go ahead and call this sub. Um, uh, tab names from another it's a long one <laughs> another workbook alright we'll declare our variables we've got our file picker it's going to be file dialog and then we're going to use my path as our string Then for each sheet name that we grab, we'll just call it as this variable sheet name, and that'll be a string. Um, we're going to count the number of sheets. So sheet count. That's going to be an integer. And then we'll have a variable i. That's an integer. And then we're going to have variable ws, which will just be this worksheet here. And that's going to be our worksheet variable. Did not spell that right. All right. So we declared all of our variables. Now let's set worksheet equal to this workbook. Jeez. I'm sorry, y'all. Having a rough time spelling today. And sheets, so we're gonna just go with sheets one. Um, this will allow us to change the name here if we want to. So we could just call this list of sheets, of sheet names. And um, instead of having to write sheet names in here, we can just write, um, sorry, list of sheet names here. We can just put a one and that way we can change the name to whatever we want. All right, so that's our worksheet, and then we're gonna set our file picker equal to application dot file dialog, and then we want MSO. There it is, file picker. And now with our file picker, we're gonna choose our title so our title let's keep it single uh, simple please select a file and then our button name we can just go with confirm and allow multi select so we won't allow the user to select multiple files only one for this example and now if show is equal to negative one that means the person chose a file so either there's two options for show there's either zero or negative one zero means they didn't select a file negative ones means they did so if they chose a file then we're gonna set my path which is the string equal to the selected item so we got one there and then else, so otherwise, we're just going to end the macro. We can end our if now, and then we can end our with. All right. And now, so with WS, so with this worksheet, we want to do is clear any any cells that are so any cells that are filled. We're going to clear those contents. So say we've already <clears throat> grabbed another worksheet and there's like it says like sheet one, sheet two, whatever, sheet three. If we run it again and there's a file that only has one sheet, it, we're not going to we're not going to be representing the correct number of sheets or the actual name. So we have to make sure we clear the contents 
after after every time that before we actually run our macro right so before we actually um, put the sheet names on our file we want to make sure it's clear before we do that all right sorry for that long drawn out explanation but uh, let's keep going so what we want to do is open the workbook and we've got our file name and that's just going to be my path And then now the sheet count is going to be equal to sheets count. So we're literally going to be counting the sheets in the workbook that we open up. And then we can do a for, use a for loop. So for i equal to one to sheet count, we're going to fill out our work our workbook here. So ws cells. And we're going to be going down, so I is going to be changing, right? So that's going to be a variable. And then horizontal, we're just going to have one. So we're going to be in the first column, and we're going to be going down each row every time there's a new sheet. And then we want to set these cells equal to the sheet name from the workbook. So we're going to do sheets I and then the name. So this side of the equation references this workbook. This side of the equation represent, represents or references the workbook that we open up with our file picker. So we can close our loop by just saying next i using next i. And then we'll go ahead and close that workbook that we opened, which it's going to be the active workbook at that point at that time. And then save changes. We will do not want to save any changes. All right, so one more thing to cap off our code. Let's go ahead and turn off the screen updating. That way you won't see any noise while the macro is running. Well, let me run it without it first, just so we can see what the difference is. All right. So I'll just clear this. I'll leave it like that. So we'll run the macro. And it's asking us to select a file. So we select our file. I'll go ahead and select this one here. And you see it opens a file, puts the sheet names in here, and closes it up. And you saw the file popped up. Now, if we use application screen updating false, we won't see any of that happening in the background. But you have to make sure to turn it back on at the end of your sub. So we'll turn that to true. So now let's run it again. And let's choose a different file this time. Let's go with this one. So you didn't see the file pop up, but now we have a new tab name, which is World Cities. And we can test just to make sure we got the right thing going on. So if you open up the first file, remember it was one, it was sheet one, two, three. And then if you open up that second file, the World City sample file, you can see the tab name matches. You got World Cities, World Cities. All right, so let's open up one more file. Let's run this macro. Test file. And boom, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I know it's kind of corny, sorry about that, but thought it was kind of cool for a second. But let's go ahead and check that out. Open up the test file. And uh, there we go, check out the tab names. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.